Have you ever wondered what gives an atom its identity, its unique signature? It's the humble proton. Tucked away in the heart of an atom alongside its cousin the neutron, the proton is a fundamental particle that forms the backbone of every atom. Imagine you're on a microscopic journey into the atom. You'd see a bustling city of particles with protons and neutrons at the core, or nucleus, and electrons whizzing around in the outer space, much like planets orbiting a sun. Protons are more than just part of the crowd, though. They have a distinct identity, carrying a positive charge. This charge is what balances the negative charge of the electrons, maintaining a harmonious atomic structure. But there's more to a proton than just its charge. It also has mass, albeit a small one, which contributes to the overall weight of an atom. So, in essence, a proton is a tiny particle that carries a positive charge and is a crucial part of an atom's identity. Now that you know what a proton is, you might be curious about how it works within an atom. Let's imagine an atom as a bustling city, and protons are the town officials. They reside in the nucleus, the city hall of the atom, along with neutrons, their quiet companions. Just like how a city's identity is defined by its officials, an atom's identity is shaped by the number of protons it has. This is known as the atomic number and it's what determines whether an atom is hydrogen with just one proton or uranium with 92 protons. Now, in our atomic city, there are also residents, the electrons. They live in the outskirts, in areas we call electron shells. The protons and electrons have opposite charges, so they attract each other. Kind of like how a city's officials and its residents are drawn together by common interests. This attraction is what keeps the electrons orbiting the nucleus, ensuring they don't drift off into atomic suburbia. But it's not just about keeping the city together. The protons also need to maintain peace and stability. If an atom has the same number of protons and electrons, it's balanced and happy. But if there are more or fewer electrons, the atom becomes charged and a bit agitated, like a city with too many or too few residents. And what about the neutrons? Well, they're kind of like the town's peacekeepers. They contribute to the overall mass of the atom, but they don't have a charge. Their role is to keep the protons in check because, remember, protons are positively charged and like charges repel each other. Without neutrons, the protons would push each other away, causing the atom to fall apart. Thus, the proton is not just a particle. It is a key player in the atomic world, determining the identity of elements and ensuring atomic stability. So next time you think of an atom, remember the bustling city and its officials, the protons, working tirelessly to keep everything in order. Ever pondered over the lifespan of a proton? Or do they even die? In the grand cosmic timeline, protons are practically immortal. They are the fundamental building blocks of all atomic matter, which means they've been around since the Big Bang and are expected to stick around for a very long time. But here's the catch. According to some theories, protons may not be eternal after all. They might die through a process called proton decay. Proton decay is a hypothetical form of radioactive decay in which the proton, a positively charged subatomic particle, spontaneously transforms into a neutral peon and a positron. However, this idea is purely theoretical. To date, no confirmed observation of a proton decaying has been reported. So if protons decay, why haven't we seen it happen? Well, it's not for lack of trying. Scientists have built massive detectors deep underground, shielded from cosmic rays, in an attempt to catch a proton in the act. But so far, these efforts have only resulted in lower bounds for the proton's lifespan, a minimum of a 10 with 33 zeros after it years. The search for proton decay is more than just a quest to determine the proton's lifespan. It's a journey into the heart of matter itself, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. So while the proton may not die in the conventional sense, its decay is a fascinating area of study that could unlock more secrets of our universe. We've journeyed through the atomic world of protons, but what are the key points to remember? First, protons are the identity card of atoms, determining their unique characteristics. They also interact with other atomic particles, forming the basis of chemical reactions. And though seemingly immortal, protons may decay, a concept that's still under scientific scrutiny. This tiny particle's existence and its interactions are fundamental to our understanding of the universe. Remember, in the atomic world, the proton is a tiny yet mighty force that shapes the universe as we know it.